Welcome everybody, starting up Crooks the Big Heist. This is a isometric uh, stealth game, uh, real time with pause, where you play a group of thieves, professional thieves, in a 70s setting, breaking in and robbing stuff. So let's get started. It all started in Venice in the late 60s, back when we weren't sure if we'd win the space race. Some rusky had just done the first spacewalk. Then the Surveyor, the first lunar soft lander was launched, which brought the Luna Stone down to Earth. Back then, nobody really knew just how far out that rock was. Guess that's why they let the Europeans stick it in a museum. All of San Francisco was buzzing about it. We'd even found a potential buyer. When we asked Don Cesare to fund our highs, honey, he couldn't cut the check fast enough. Back then, there were still six of us. Murray's plan seemed airtight. That cat had thought of every detail. Basically, everything in Venice had gone according to plan. For Murray, anyhow. Welcome to Venice, guys. Welcome to the Fondaco de Marrakini. I hope you had a good flight. Food could have been better. Murray, before we get the Luna Stone, give us some time to get oriented. First, learn how to use the camera. It is important to take a close look at each level before assembling your team. Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial. Move the cursors to the edge of the screen or use WASP to slide the camera. Alright. Press and hold the third mouse button or left shift and move the mouse left and right to rotate the camera. Ah, cool. Alright. Move the scroll wheel forward and backward to zoom. Simple enough. Yeah, I want to see the map again. The riskiest spots are the ones you overlook when you're planning. Don't worry. My plan is airtight. We'll grab the stone as long as the museum still keeps it in the attic. The map displays all the important elements of the heist. This is where you can learn about the dangers and goals of your current job, and where you can get an overview of all levels of the heist location. Left click the map icon or press M to open the map. And it is. Oh. Oh, I can see. Alright, there's Cleopatra. There's Rocket. Bishop. I mean, I get to play as a foxy black woman with an afro, so this game's already awesome. That's that's bonus points right from the start. All right, uh, put the back back button or M to close the map. You see, the path to the lunar stone is not that confusing. Do what I say, and you'll be fine. Just don't do anything stupid, Murray. Trust me, Lobkovitz. Okay, let's go. Ready, Cleopatra? Runner, check. Rocket. Bishop? Contortionist. Check. Locksmith? Check. Like I said, planning is everything. Lobkovitz? Yeah, yeah. Technician? Check. This music is the best. Use waypoints to create routes for your thieves. Place them by right-clicking on interactive objects around the floor. Specify what your thieves are to do at the waypoints in the context menu. 
Security system interdependencies are represented by connector lines. The pause key, uh, the pause key space is crucial. The more carefully you plan when the game is paused, the more efficient your plan will be. Making good time will improve your crook score. Okay. Double left click Lapkowitz's character portrait to select him and center the screen on his position. Okay. Right click on the floor of the entrance hall to set a waypoint. Hover the cursor over the switch by the connector line until the connector line is displayed. Okay. Ah, okay. So that switch probably opens this door. Alright, makes sense. Left click the switch to select it and lock the connector line in position. Ah, cool, now it doesn't disappear. Right-click the switch to set a waypoint. Lapkowitz will receive a command to use the switch. Yeah. Left-click the pause icon or press space to unpause the game and have Lapkowitz walk. Oh, check it out, she's stretching. Each thief has their own particular skills that will improve as the game progresses. Bishop, for example, can crack security doors. Most skills are queued automatically at a waypoint that is set on an interactive object. You can also queue skills manually by left-clicking their icon in the waypoint's context menu. The context menu is displayed when you select the waypoint with a left-click or if no command can be queued automatically. Double-click on Bishop's character portrait. Right click the security door with the padlock symbol. In the entrance hall, Bishop will receive a command to pick the lock. Yep. Alright, on pause the game. delete a single waypoint by selecting it and pressing E, or by left-clicking the trash symbol at the waypoint's context menu. Left-click the trash uh, can symbol beneath the thief's character portrait, or press left control E plus E to delete all of the waypoints. All right. Set five waypoints for Cleopatra. Left click one of the waypoints to select it and open its uh, context menu. Okay. Left click the trash can symbol at the context menu or press E to delete the waypoint. Ah, uh -huh. oh, cool, even connected the other ones for me. Left click the trash can symbol beneath Cleopatra's character portrait or press select control and E to delete all the waypoints. Select one thief after the other and set a waypoint on the exit for each crew member. They will receive a command to leave the level.
Very good. Everything's going according to plan. This all seems easier than it should be. Are you sure you haven't overlooked anything, Murray? Yes, I'm sure. Now focus. There will definitely be more to take than just the Lunar Stone. Get going, Bishop. Open the door for Rocket, and make sure you don't forget any loot. I don't think I like your tone, Murray. A heist will fail if your thieves attract too much attention, produce too much heat. For example, by walking into a camera's vision cone. The heat ohmmeter on the upper right side of the screen shows your current heat level. Nevertheless, it will sometimes pay off to take a risk. Heist spoils contain a lot of cash that you can use to buy new equipment. Right click the suitcase on the floor to set a waypoint. Bishop will receive a command to pick it up. Right click the switch behind the door. This one, right? Left click the. Okay, unbox. I've been spotted. <laughs> Bishop, you've seen these kinds of cameras before. Very funny, Murray. I thought you were going to deactivate the camera. Come on. It's just more fun with a little risk. Oh, my heat o meter filled up a little bit. Now I'm inconspicuous. Left click the pause icon. Okay, I'll pause. Timing ain't just a restaurant in Chinatown, you know? Ah, uh, yeah. Just like the Boston City job in 63. First time we worked together, remember, Bishop? How could I forget? That job was more a question of patience for me. When's it my turn to do something, oh, great mastermind? All in due time, honey. The path is clear. There's no need to rush. Successful completion of a heist depends on how you coordinate your thieves. Set the wait command on the waypoint for a specific thief and they will wait there until you give them the go command. A flag symbol next to the character portrait shows that they are waiting for your command. Left click the flag symbol and the thief will proceed as planned. Double click Rocket's character portrait. Set a waypoint on the floor behind the door next to the water dispenser. Dispenser. Oh, it's still needed there. Where's the water dispenser? Oh, right there. Okay. Right click the line between rocket's waypoints at a point that is not yet in the camera's vision. the new waypoint to select them to open its context menu. Put the hourglass, okay, it should wait there. Double click lock Kowitz's character approach. Right click the camera terminal to set a waypoint there. Lock Kowitz will receive a command to deactivate the terminal. Come on, you can even see this connects this camera and this camera. All right. And on box. Your call. Now I can unpause her. Since the camera's done, and she can walk by Scott Free. All right. Unnoticed. 
that worked out. Surprise? Wouldn't be the first time you didn't realize the sheer enthusiasm that you were being filmed. That's a good statue. That's so. Murray, we're all professionals here. Stay out of it, Cleo. All right, Rocket, you're up. Get that key in your thing, baby. Don't call me baby. These can use items to make up for the skills they lack. Note that items are consumed and therefore can only be used once. To make planning easier, you can queue multiple commands at each waypoint, and they will be executed one after the other. You can also delete a command by left clicking the respective symbol. Okay, She'll go and pick up the key. She has a key. Right click the security door near Rocket. She doesn't have the lock picking skills, so the context menu will open. Right click the key symbol in the context menu. Gotcha. Left click the hourglass symbol in the context menu. This will place the wait command after the security door. Uh, key in the queue. Okay. Left click the security door key symbol in the queue below the context menu to delete it. Ah. Um, oh, I'm going to delete that, not the hourglass. Gotcha. Now left click the security D door key symbol in the context menu and place it after the wait command. Okay. Left click the X symbol to close the context menu. Right click the switch behind the door to set another wait command. Alright, unpause the game. Standing by. See, that worked. Save it, Murray. Left click the flag symbol on Rocket's character portrait or press F4 to make her continue her way. And pause the game. Volkovich, your turn now. I can see two crowbars. Knock yourself out, buddy. Some tools, such as crowbars or explosive charges, will produce noise. The range of the noise of the tool you are planning to use is represented by blue concentric circles. The noise does not affect the heatometer, but it will attract guards, provided they are close enough to hear it. Alright, pick up the crowbar. Ah, so I'm going to use the crowbar to bash the door open produces that much noise, which won't attract the guards because they're too far away. Put the other crowbar. And the switch. Patrol predetermined routes or they stand around watching an area. All guards have a vision cone as well as a radius of perception. They will notice every thief who enters these areas. There are different kinds of guards with different abilities. Make sure to have a good look, good look at them before taking action. Alright, open up the map. Fast guard. Walks and runs very fast, can be knocked out in various ways. If he recognizes something suspicious, he will leave his patrol route to investigate. It produces heat whenever he spots a thief. If he catches one of your thieves, thieves the guard, the heist is over. Status guarding. Guard is slow and weak, can be knocked out in various ways. If he recognizes something suspicious, he will leave his patrol, patrol route to investigate. <coughs> produces heat 
Whenever he spots a thief and he catches one of your thieves, that is his own. And that's just another one you'll car. Okay. It's safe. They can't even leave their room. Hey, are you gonna just leave me here? Don't worry, Cleopatra. Now it's your time to shine. No, he causes all guards in close range to leave their patrol room to look for intruders. When they catch a thief, the heist has failed. The guards will also start looking for intruders when they find suspicious objects, such as destroyed objects, noise emitters, or maneki nekos. Knocked out guards, guards in search mode, or completed targets. Right click the switch that is located before the light barriers in the corridor. that is located behind the light barrier in front of the next door, okay? That's gonna deactivate what? Ah, it's gonna open this door for lock codes. Usually, thieves can carry up to three items. If their inventory is full or they want to give one of their items to another thief, they can drop items on the floor so that their accomplices can collect them later. Right. Right click the floor near rocket instead of wait. Context menu, drop the crowbar, close the context menu, set a waypoint for lap courts in the highlighted area to make some room for Rocket. Right, she can't pick up the crowbar if you stand it right on top of it. Why can't I get through here? <laughs> the guard is stuck again. Yeah, Select rocket, pick up the crowbar, and pause. Right click the security door to the next room. Rocket doesn't have the lock picking skill, so the context menu will open. Right. At the end of a heist, you need to reach the main target, which is highlighted by a golden beacon. The exit itself can have a, can also be a valid main target. Green beacons indicate intermediate targets. The beacon, the beacon of targets that have yet to to be unlocked is gray. Okay. All right, so I'm open the switch. Right click the Luna Stone to set a waypoint there. Rocket will receive a command to pick it up. Alright, 
right? So now we get out of here. Make sure your paths aren't going through anything dangerous. No, they're good. us over. Chazara bailed us out and we even found a way to pay him back. But after Venice, the team fell apart. And without a team, we had no chance to ever pull off the big jobs again. I suppose this is exactly what Murray had in store for us. No more sharing with anyone. Especially not the Luna Stone. Lobkowitz fell off the face of the earth. We didn't hear a peep from him for years. Rufus and Rocket, the Rawlings siblings, went back to professional wrestling. All they really got out of it was bumps and bruises. Bishop founded an environmental group and dedicated his life to saving the planet. We'd occasionally do jobs together, but it wasn't the same. There were rumors that Murray had slimed his way into circles of people with power and influence. But no one really knew where that rat was hiding. Five years later, the Luna Stone was on exhibit again. In San Francisco, right in front of our faces. Accident or not, Bishop and I agreed that Murray would try to make off with the stone again. This time, he needed to pay for what he did to the crew. This time, the Luna Stone would be ours. And Don Cesare was ready with intel for step one of the plan. That was the tutorial and I guess next is the first actual real deal heist fistful of pink feathers so that's where we'll pick up this kind of like mission based game makes it easy as to where to choose to begin and end episodes just one heist per episode 